In our previous class, we had seen how to create the output parameter of type result set and we can assign the output from a simple query with the help of VLSQL to that particular parameter what we have created and get the response something like this what you see over here in the JSON output. Also, we had seen how to create the output header parameters and assign the value help of PLSQL. Now, in this class, we will see some of the advanced data types created in Oracle database that is JSON object data type. With the help of which, we will be able to natively generate the JSON data right within the PLSQL instead of converting with the help of sysref cursor and so on and so forth things. So in order to demonstrate this use case, I have created a template already over here that is V4. Let me just show you the URI prefix for this You are the URI pattern. I have created this V4 template and I have created a handler over here. Let me show this. Here if you see, this is a very simple PLSQL block in the parameter. I am not using the inbuilt parameters for this ORDS API. Rather, in the PLSQL, I am generating the header where I am sending the JSON data back to the service consumer at the runtime and assigning the payload for the HTTP response that is HTTP.p wherein I am directly providing the JSON message. So how we will generate the JSON message is if you see the SQL query which I have written so select instead of star or the column names I have written I want to serialize the JSON and I am using this JSON object data type so within this what I am doing is I am constructing a JSON object in which I will be having a employees item or the key which is of type JSON array and within this array I am having a JSON object which will have multiple records of an employee where I will tell ID name and email I have to map to the ID name and email underscore ID columns of a table suppose if you see over here the names ID name email underscore ID so these are the column names what you see and these are the key values for our JSON object what we see in the response I will show you shortly then I'm ordering based on ID and I'm returning this JSON object as club so that I can map it to this JSON alias which I have created and then into this pjson pjson is of type club over here so I'm serializing and assigning this to the club so I'm returning the club over here so that I can map over here that is from the employees table so this is one of the advanced or latest a JSON object data type which is available in the Oracle database. So with this we can generate the JSON object kind of payload right within the PLSQL and at runtime I'm assigning the headers. So one more method is we can define the headers over here like what we had seen in our earlier class and also the result what we send back that is the result set we can define over parameter instead of directly assigning within the PLSQL. Now let's test this with the help of Postman. Let me provide the URI pattern over here click on send here if you see I am seeing the JSON response. So employees what I have told over here this is the key name for our object and this is of type JSON array. So if you see over here this employees is a key and the value is a JSON array and within this array I am sending the details of all the employees that is this array will contain a JSON object. So if you see this array contains each JSON object for a employee record wherein I am mapping this ID name email ID columns to this ID name email of this JSON message if you see over here ID name and email are mapped to their respective column names. So if you want to have few other parameters in the response you can add to this JSON object we will see in our next classes how we can add few more key values to our JSON output like apart from employees we will have few more fields that is for the pagination then how we can do that we will see in our coming classes. So this is one of the simplest example by which we can generate the JSON object or JSON message right into the PLSQL.